Hello everyone, welcome back to the Movie Reviewers 100. My name is Scott, also known as Cineram, both here on YouTube and on Facebook, uh, as is our channel, also as our Facebook page. If you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, click the link in the description below to go to Facebook uh, and uh, where you can comment on our videos and offer feedback and suggestions for future themes. We have a new theme every week. Um, there's seven of us on the channel itself. Um, I do the Thursday reviews. Um, I, of course, if you're already watching this on Facebook, you can also uh, follow the link back to YouTube and subscribe to our channel if you're a regular YouTube user. Um, so yes, a new theme every week. This theme, uh, this week our theme is Melissa George, an Australian actress um, who uh, was um, a supporting character on Alias for a while. Um, and um, uh, probably the best movie that I can recommend her in is Dark City. Um, but she has a very, very small role in that, so I'd like to instead talk about a movie called Triangle. I am not sure if it's an Australian production. The director of this movie is Christopher Smith, who did a movie called Severance. Um, which is a horror comedy, but it's a British horror comedy, and this one is set in the United States. Um, but I found it a little odd that both Melissa George and Liam Hemsworth from The Hunger Games are both Australians playing Americans. I wonder just how many Australian actors were in the cast doing American accents, because it's not entirely clear where it's set. It could have been shot in Australia, I guess. I, I, I don't really know. But uh, most of the movie takes place on the water, so not a lot of uh, landmarks on, uh, to, uh, to consider there. Um, Melissa George is a young mother. She has uh, an autistic child who has, you know, a lot of special needs. Um, but for the day, she's um, uh, heading out, basically, onto the water with a few acquaintances on a yacht called Triangle. Um, she was, she's a waitress, I think, in a restaurant, and uh, one of her regular customers invited her along on the trip, along with a few friends of his. So she really doesn't know anyone on the boat, but uh, most of the people on the boat already know each other. Liam Hemsworth plays a uh, a uh, kid who was um, asked to join uh, the yacht because he's been sort of working for well, the guy who owns it. Um, I, like I said, I don't recognize most of the actors in the movie, just those two, Liam Hemsworth and Melissa George. The, Hemsworth, Hemsworth. Of course, he played Gail in uh, Hunger Games, and of course, he's Chris Hemsworth's brother. Yeah, I think I got all that right. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so they head out onto the water for the day, and it's, you know, nice out, and they're having conversations, getting to know each other. All of a sudden, a big storm hits. Um, and um, the, the, there's the, it's this big disaster. The yacht basically gets destroyed, turned upside down. They have no. They're sitting around on this overturned boat, waiting for help to come along. They don't know when it's going to come. And then from out of nowhere, this giant cruise ship comes along, big, huge, luxury cl cruise liner. Um, but there's one little problem. Once they get on board the ship, they realize that there's no one actually on the ship there, or so it seems. There's no captain, there's no crew, uh, there's no passengers, there's a big sort of food spread in the dining area, but it's less like, where is everybody? What's going on? Well, eventually they realize that there is someone else on the ship, but they, this person does not mean them well. <laughs> they're wearing a sack over their head, they've got a shotgun, they might be trying to kill them, um, and they're trying to figure out just how they can get to safety, you know, given that you know, they don't have a boat to sail away from the ship anymore. They've got to see if they can figure out what the problem is. Um, but things escalate very quickly. And then this sort of weird supernatural twist happens where it looks like everything is starting all over again. At one point, Melissa George thinks that everything is fine, but she looks out, out of the, uh, over the water and she sees the exact same boat that she was just on with herself, along with all of her acquaintances, sailing towards the ship to get on again. It's just like everything's repeating themselves, only now she's seeing it from a different perspective. And she's like, what am I going to do here? What is going on? How can I deal with the situation? And and is this just going to keep happening over and over again? Mm, could be. There are a couple incidences where... Um, there are a couple of instances where uh, something seem, happens and then it looks as though it's happened many times. For example, she accidentally, she has this pendant um, with a picture of her son inside. Melissa George does. She accidentally drops it through a grate in the floor on the ship. And she looks down through the grate and she sees that there's a pile of identical necklaces with the exact same picture all over the place. Which would lead you to believe that this is happening over and over again. What is this time travel thing that's happening? It's a little bit like Groundhog Day because it doesn't seem to have a scientific explanation. Maybe it's uh, purgatory. Maybe who knows what's happening here, but it's a big mystery. And she's got to deal with the imminent danger to herself and also the other people where you have this masked character running around with a shotgun trying to kill them. Um, yeah, it's all very, very strange. There's some quite surprising developments uh, there as well. Um, I, this is the second time. I just rewatched this movie. It's the second time I've seen it. So I kind of went into it knowing, of course, 
the, the, knowing that the character maybe knew more about what was happening, because if this is an actual loop, then maybe she's a little bit more aware of the situation at the beginning of the story than you originally thought when you first saw it. I don't know. It's 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 confusing. Um, the more I can't think of a more complicated time travel type of story other than Primer, the uh, Shane Carruth movie Primer. This one's super complicated as well, and I don't think there are enough scenes to really explain fully what's happening. You could sort of make an assumption about what's happening, but there are some story threads that are tied up and there are others that maybe aren't so well. It's just like, how did that happen? Why was this character doing that? Um, and eventually you get explanations for some of those behaviors, but not all of them. So it's a, it's a complicated movie, but it's really interesting. Um, there's, a, there's a lot to enjoy about it. And Alyssa George is a really good actress. It's, the whole movie is very well acted and it's, it's lots of fun. It's just uh, strange, interesting, it's a big puzzle. Um, so uh, I hope that uh, that uh, appeals to you. Uh, if it does, uh, you might want to check it out. It's pretty decent. Um, and so uh, starting tomorrow, um, we should have a new theme. So we hope you'll tune in for that as well. Thank you very much for watching. See you again real soon. Bye.